Well, guys, here we are, ending our second week in session. We had public hearings this week on the budget, and we got to hear from all the different entities that were um, either not getting funded or needed more funding um, through this process. It starts again next week where we'll start getting down to the real numbers of what the budget of the state is going to look like, at least how the House sees it. Um, the bottom line is I think the proposals for taxes on business, the, the whole climate about the lawsuits. We recently lost a, a plant to Texas, which would have been a $10 billion project. Um, you know, the bottom line, the, the growth of our government is outpacing what the economy in Louisiana can afford. That is about as simple as I can put it. You know, the biggest lie I hear to state capital is it's not that simple. Well, I'm telling you, it is that simple. Our revenues have been off like 15 times in the last eight years. And what happens? It creates this uh, artificial high. And when we don't meet it, then it's a catastrophe. Well, one time, two times, three times, okay, but 15 times now. So all you do is reduce, reduce it, whatever the deficit is, you subtract it, and that's what the number is. So I think um, that's what we're planning on. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure out that number now, and that's, that should be our budget, just like it is in your home and your, your business. Figure out how much money we have and your budget for that. But you can't keep trying to spend 100% of what you think you're going to have, whether that means you do a forecast and it's $100 and you only spend 90 But we have, on a continuous basis, we have spent every dime that we forecast, and it is causing us great problems. Bottom line, it is that simple. We have to live within our means. The government is outpacing what you, the taxpayers, can afford. Therefore, we have to decide what are we going to slow down, what are our priorities, and spend our money accordingly, just like you have to do every day in your personal lives. See you all next week.